Hey guys, what is up today? We're gonna play some scrolls, which is a game by Mojang. As we all know, the people who made Minecraft, this was developed by Notch. And basically what scrolls is, it is a trading card game where you are playing with uh, a certain series of cards. And how this works is there are... Actually, you know what? I'll just get into a game and show you guys how it works. I'll just play against the AI. And I'll use my derby game. But here is a quick match. This is what the game looks like. So basically the objective is you have five idols here. Ten health each on both sides. And you have to destroy three of these from one of the players. And now you have to put your units on your side of the board only. You can't put them on the opponent's side. Clearly. And so... Um, the way you play this, you start off as you have to sacrifice a card for either scrolls, which are more like cards or whatever, or resources, which usually you need to play these cards. So I will sacrifice this, get one resource. I could use this enchant, but I have no units to enchant, so I'd be useless. The main types of units in this game are creatures, for example, this copper automaton. Structures, say this uh, ancestral totem, which I can place there in mobile, while creatures can move normally one block, not block, tile in each direction, rather. And they can, um, in, ge in general, as you can see, I can place them all here. And oh, I should probably do this that they have three main stats in this there's a countdown, which is how long it is until the unit attacks. And strength with which it attacks and the health and some creatures have special like abilities or whatever for example this brother of the wolf it can instead of attacking it can spawn a wolf instead of completely as it says and so i will play the sister of the fox which is a basic growth unit and it gives you a card for doing so which is nice and so what my opponent has here is a That was like a suicide bomber kind of unit. They're actually pretty powerful considering how easy they are, easy they are to get. And so yes, it's clearly a turn-based strategy games. And uh, to use different cards of different types. For example, if I want, if I had this machine priest in my deck and I wanted to play it, I would have to have uh, this kind of energy, this energy instead of growth. I can't use growth to summon a energy unit or an order unit. Also, basically, when you start out this game, you'll get from, uh, you can choose between one of four starter packs, which are what I chose, growth. There's also order, not, this is energy, and there's order, and, uh, decay. So those are your options there. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is sacrifice this and get one of these brothers of the wolf. And so these guys are a decent unit with fairly decent stats. But this Kinfolk Jarl is a very powerful unit, as you can see. This is what I meant by special abilities. It will continue attacking, but it will lose its uh, strength as it goes. And Inspire, as it's close by, it does basically they do more damage. They they both both Kinfolk Jarl and the units around him will be more powerful, which is clearly like very useful. So I'm going to use uh, this bear paw, which is what it does, is it increases the enchanted unit's attack by 2 and its health by 2, which is a big buff, but it gives it an um, increased countdown. So this is a really strong unit, but it will take him a while to be able to do anything. And this is not necessary at the moment, so let's just get some more uh, growth. Also, in case I did not mention, you can't move structures, which is... Uh, Uh, you can't move structures unless they are specified, so if I replace this ancestral totem right here, which would be fairly idiotic of me, uh, I wouldn't be able to move it. So that's clearly a problem. But what I'm going to do is poison this guy so he dies in a couple turns. And then I'm going to bear paw this guy again just so that this, uh, this Gravelock outcast can die, and then he will attack this guy. Unless I just messed that up. No, I didn't. Good. Oh, 
yeah, there's also two types of attackers in this melee guys, which will just, um, as you know, like fight with the sword. Whereas, ooh, this is a really good spell, I don't want to waste it. I guess I'll just play this. I hope that the AI doesn't attack it. But, um, as I was saying, there's melee attackers. There's melee attackers, and there's also, uh, ranged attackers, like this guy. And they, what they do is they will, they don't take, like, say you had a unit that was, like, spiky, which means that they, the enemy will take damage when they attack you. A ranged attacker won't be affected by that. But generally, they, it takes them longer to, uh, attack the melee guys. So... Yeah, that's seven damage is a lot in this game. That's almost enough to destroy a single. Well, that's gonna be a problem. That just destroyed my guy. So what I think I'm going to do here would that even be beneficial? Not particularly. Actually, let us. I hate to do this, but I really like that extra ability. So I'm power this guy up, and the next turn I will just destroy, um, yeah, cause he's trying his best to take this guy out, so, what we're gonna do here, is, sacrifice this champion's ring, which is a good weapon, it increases attack by two, and summon the kinfolk jarl here, almost as a beat shield, and take this guy the ten damage, to just destroy him. Normally with this guy you would want to be spawning wolves, especially if you have a great wolf, which is a unit that is more powerful than the wolves you have, which is a special growth thing. But in this situation, I think since I've buffed him up so much, it's honestly much better to just have him attack. So that's the basics of this game. This, gets, this game gets very complicated. There's also a couple of different kinds of game modes, quick matches against the computer and whatnot. Ooh, that's a nasty. Enchantment. Ember Bonds basically just really damages this guy before he'll attack, which I can kill. Now that's a big problem. I really would like to get the healing spell that I had. But that's not going to work. So, what I think I'm going to do... I am just going to put this guy down, which will give me extra growth per turn. And I'm not sure if he'll be able to attack or it will kill him instantly. But, before attacking it, so he's not gonna last. So I'll ha I'll leave this guy as cannon fodder, and I'll just put that on him, so if someone attacks him, he will be fine. Whoa, is this guy immune to my damage or something? That's odd. Oh, that, wow, that was silly of me. I put myself in a bad spot just because I wasn't thinking. That's really stupid. Um, does that... No, that was just an experiment. Because I know there's one card where it buffs your he uh, healing, but I've never actually used that healing card very often, and so I would have thought it would function, have functioned similarly, but apparently not. So let's get some more cards here. I doubt I'll be able to recover that damage anytime soon here, because that was a really stupid move. See, I'm just getting fairly distracted talking to you guys here. Sorry about that. So my gameplay is not exactly top-notch here. But, I will be putting this brother of the wolf here. Giving him that poison enchant from before. And putting this guy behind him so that he can get that extra growth. These guys are really weak, but if you can keep them alive... That's not good. That guy is in a good spot there. But I'm just going to try and make this guy into a, t a wall. Almost. That's tempting. Oh, I think I'm going to do this. Put this Frostbeard here. Frostbeard is basically are really strong, but very frail. But if they die, you're, this guy will get two attack until the end of his turn. So, 
hopefully he'll live long enough to... Ooh, this magpie is not fun. Yeah, that was not good. Alright, let's cast to this. Get... That is a very good unit. Wolf I was talking about from before. It's a relentless, and every other great wolf you control, its attack is increased by one. So as you can see, I'm doing fairly poorly, only having dealt a couple. Stop showing up. Three damage to um, this tower, or as they've done. Actually, they're doing. I'm doing slightly better than the computer, but this is not exactly on a high difficulty or anything. Difficulty. So, yeah, that should work out just fine. Beautiful. Yeah, range units are generally flail, but strong. Ooh, is that nice enchantment there? Yeah, Emperor Vaughn's is really strong. It makes it, well, most units will die unless they before they're able to attack. Uh, Rattling's such a good spell, it basically makes it so that your guy will attack right away. I mean, sorry, we... They will, most of your people, unless they have a count higher than two, will be able to attack that turn, which is very strong. Let's get this eagle eye going. A sister of the fox to act as cannon fodder. Hopefully get another nice card. Yes, this is actually a very good structure. Or vitality will basically every three turns will heal your guys by, need the healing by one point, which is incredibly good. Burn spell's also strong. Yeah, what this does is it fires every couple turns, but it slows them down when it hits them, which is a large pain. So now we'll just throw up a wall here. I'm honestly letting this idol go to the waste just to keep this great wolf alive a bit longer. Ah, structures. I need that part of that item. So hopefully my guy will live here. And if not, that will be a big pain. Because I'm going to use a crimson bomb. Nope, I knew the ember bombs were still active. Why did I do that? Wow, that was a stupid move. I just wasted the great wolf, and my structures are all being destroyed. Great. Let's get some cards going here, hopefully. Another vitality one, I guess. Just throw that there. And this ragged wolf. This another four. Actually, that's going to work extremely well having this double vitality wall set up here because they will constantly be healing each other, which is really useful. I really wish I had that quake card though, so I could just destroy these guys here. Because that quake card would just do some insane damage. Let's put up an Isle for one. Yeah, the problem with this deck that I found that I've made here is I've put in a lot of barriers, such as Isle Thorns and Vitality Wells. Oh, that's really frustrating. Whereas I need more good creatures, which I seem to lack. Such as Kinfolk Jarl, for example. This guy is extremely powerful. Binding Root is also very helpful, because what it does is it makes it so most trees are unable to move. Wow, I am getting pummeled here. I really could use this Earthquake spell right now. Unless I... Unless this is that one arrangement where I did not pack two, which was quite unfortunate. Next turn. Oh yes, also I forgot to mention that you have your avatar, which you can customize back in the main menu. Oh man, this machine priest is pain. But I've made this guy. There are limited options really for anyone almost. It's fairly frustrating almost. But there aren't a lot of choices, as I just said, for what you want to do here. 
Here we go, Quake. This is what Quake does. It's a rare spell, but it's incredibly strong. I'm also gonna do this, and you have Relentless, yes. Cast the Quake. Wipe out the field. Champions ring on you. I just lay waste. Beautiful. That's actually exactly how I hoped that would work out. Except that he used a spark spell, which is basically just a plain old damage attack. But it turns out that I'm actually winning now, to my surprise. But let's put up a junkyard around here, just to protect that. Perfect. Hopefully he doesn't move it with his random spells. But the AI in general is not too difficult, whereas the players in this game, as you might expect, are normally very solid. I mean, I've played a couple matches, but people, I mean, it, you really have to balance, like, be able to balance between different factions if you want to get a good hand, which I've found is, can be fairly annoying to do. Yes, oh, sorry. Back to the other game modes in this. There's this mode called Judgment, where you are given a series of cards and you're allowed to select within these to make your deck. Which, basically, like, you'll be shown four cards at a time, and you pick between one of those four, which you want in your deck. And then you're allowed to play five matches with those. The first time you do this is free, but every time after that, it costs a thousand to play Judgment, but you get five games with each deck. So, there you go. Treat that as you will. But Judgments, I, f I find it's one of my favorite games. Because you get to play with, like, cards that you don't have. To just own, like, cards that anyone can have. Really, which is really nice, honestly. And it makes for much more interesting gameplay. Too. I mean, because you might be limited at the beginning here. And not have incredibly good cards. Whereas, with something... Like with the um, sorry judgment mode, it doesn't matter what cards you have in general because not in general at any time because it's just whatever cards that you, you get to choose from. It's not just assigned to you. I mean, not wow words. Okay, it's just you can have any cards that you your heart desires really within your selections. You can build any deck. You don't have to just be assigned to just what you get from buying cards and playing games here. Because within this, the only way you can get cards is by getting money and buying them from the store. I mean, in-game money. You don't have to spend your real money. Just don't do that. That's not... That's <laughs> not what the cool is here. But this game does cost $20 and it's available on the Mojang website. If you know that is, I'm sure you guys do. I would really recommend this game, honestly. It's just very interesting. The playstyle is really fun. And it just works really well. So, here what I'm trying to do is just get rid of these annoying cannons because they are a pain. I'll be honest with you. That actually worked out perfectly. As long as this guy doesn't die, because now we'll have buffed attack. And I really would like to get another guy here. statue in front of him. Basically, an eternal statue has four health, and it will just um, sponge damage because it regains one health each turn, which is really valuable. But he just destroyed it with a tick bomb, which is really annoying. It just automatically destroys the structure. That's what it does. Yeah, I know. But the spells in this game are, in general, really solid. I mean, like, there's a wide range of spells, anything from, as you saw, their quake to a healing spell. I mean, that's just... Binding spells as well. Now, can my guys list that? That actually help me. Yes, this would help me. So let's do that. Bear power. The great wolves can get incredibly powerful if you have a series of um. Ooh, that's not fun. Damn. Good, good work, sir. Actually, your computer, so that doesn't really work. It always is annoying when you get good spells, but you don't have a creature to give to them. 
Another thing I believe I forgot. I should mention these two. I also want to see basically where guy dies, he becomes an Isle Thorn, which is a spiky wall, in essence. So, since this thing here, I'd like this ranger to do something nice. I mean, this ragged wolf, but he's honestly pretty useless, so I'll just put him here. And, ranger's bane on this thing. So that it'll. Oh, wait, you can't do that on the structures. Silly me. Well, then we can just do this, kill him, get an Isle Thorn Seed so he becomes an annoying wall. Now, this guy will die in three turns because poison lasts for three turns with a spell. And. That's about to get destroyed. I'm really not doing that well this game. Why not? Let's basically try to power make something, a unit, like, stronger with three more health and one more attack, but they're immobile then. And now. I, mean, I just really buffed this guy, even though he's just a ragged wolf. He's pretty bad. That's okay, though. Now we have a Frostbeard, which we can just hide behind him. There we go! No, that's that annoying uh, gun the other guy is out of the picture. Now this ragged wolf will hopefully be able to just tear that guy apart. Now... Can I... Actually, that would be interesting. This guy does not have relentless, correct? No. So that would be a really bad idea. And let's put this on you. And save this. That's an annoying move. Um, ooh, that would be nice. So that would be all able to kill this if. That's so next turn cannon down. These machine priests are really a pain. Wow, this is he's got a lot of energy. And I'm doing really poorly. This has been a pretty pathetic game, I'll be honest. I'm doing particularly well here. Uh, let's move you. Oh wait, I can't because I made you a tank. Right. Let's just give the rally. Oh, right, he's got a counter on three. So he's gonna get shot now. Oh, that's really a pain. Wow. No, at least we'll take out this other cannon. That's nice. And basically, what this wolf is doing now is just almost providing a clean lane for me. Ooh, easy pumps are a real pain. Every five turns, they'll deal one damage to all of your units, which is. What they are basically is um, they're like that spell you've seen me cast a couple times. That's not really the actually, yeah, that's actually perfect. And it just does one damage to all of your units, except that it's better because it doesn't hurt your guys as well, which is a real pain. Anyways, I'm getting distracted here. Let's move this guy over and put a brother of the wolf here. And hopefully this guy will go down soon, because he's been a pain. Yes, that's the most annoying thing with this. And that's also annoying, that they keep just suiciding themselves to be able to damage me. That's a real pain, honestly. Now, this is he got that. So that will almost be a good game. Actually, no, wait, that's a That was wrong. Never mind. I thought this was the haste guy, so we do the one damage there. Just kill it. But that's okay, because he just did a lot of stuff. It almost ruined my day. Let's put a junk deal right there. Just give you a heal spell. So you can constantly heal. Ah, uh, guys, just go to attack. Well, I'm in a much better situation than he is actually. Actually, that's not true. Seven damage versus ten. That's fairly good actually. Yeah, you needed that healing spell. That was a wise decision, I'd say. 
Let's put an aisle thorn here. Just as good protection. That's not the best decision. I'd say it's fairly solid. And that'll just make that lane untouchable for him, really, which is really useful, I'd say. Actually, really nicely. Healing and extra growth. That's a really good mix, actually. But of course, he's just gonna tick bomb, spawn in more ranged units that are going to destroy me. Oh, that thing's going to kill my guy. Yeah. That just turned for him. This guy, it's the biggest problem here. I'll we'll just rally him next time so we can kill that scatter gunner. Or he'll do that and be real pain. So, ooh, that's not good. One idol down for me, that's not good in any way. Well, now if I quite would I kill most of these guys? Yes, actually. That gets rid of almost all of these melee units. So let's put an aisle thing in there. In case that he just decides that it's a great idea to rush at it and get himself killed in the process. Perfect. Now, ooh, hello. You're almost dead. But. Decides to rush, then this one. We know that's a range attack. Silly me. No, it's this guy. He's just a kamikaze, so. Matters not. Uh, that's a problem. I didn't think silly me. <sighs> well. Let's get more cards, shall we? Put a dragon wolf and a mage wolf, which will turn out fairly well, I'd say. Alright, we're almost done with this game, hopefully, unless he's just going to continually put these bombs down. I'm not working with a great set here. This set mostly relies on getting a good set of cards quickly. I mean, good getting a good... that's really redundant, that's stupid. Wow, did I just say that? What I meant to say... That's not what I meant to say. Now I'm just gonna have to shield the totem because it's useful. But what I meant to say is that this this deck really is help. Like what I'm trying to do with it is get a lot of wolves on the field so that I could just have a, like a powerful setup, if you will. So if I can get a lot of wolves here, and then I can just put out a cast this and put up my veteran so we can take out that guy. But uh um, like if I can get like three wolves in the field and then a great wolf out and give him some sort of attack spell, he can just rampage, which is really what we're looking for here. It's it's essentially critical for the strategy to work well. And so you can see see that. Wow. Well, that's really powerful, actually. And then just put up a wall. Interesting decision. Anyways, what I... This is kind of what I was saying here. Getting something like this. This is another way to work with this. Just doing... Getting a haste guy with power on him. That's dangerous. Wow. Um, let's do that. Actually, in retrospect, let's put down a wolf here. Just to act as a meat shield almost. Next turn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's removed anyways. It doesn't matter. Let's put a King Folk Charm. Champions are not here. Over. Just destroy. 
destroy that. And then this should fall next turn. Actually, wait, sorry, in two turns, let's get a rallying crowd. That would have been perfect timing. But, Oh wait, I saw the attack bonus that I just That's a lot of units, guy, but it's not gonna save you now, because here we go. I'll put a vitality roll for you. Happy with you. Game, set, match. Hope you enjoyed, everybody. This was a Scrolls Episode 1. Hope you enjoyed. I will be putting out more of these as often as I can. And I'll see you guys later.